Hello viewers, welcome back to the ZQ Tech YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the GA plan of a ship. So before starting the video, I request all of you guys to subscribe and like this channel. So a uh, general arrangement plan of a ship. So this ship is Titanic ship. But by looking at this ship, you are unable to understand what are the facilities and equipments the ship is equipped with. So general arrangement plan tells us uh, the facilities, the equipment present on each deck of a ship. You look at uh, the, this is uh, the 3D view of a ship. So by looking at this 3D view, uh, you can see some uh, some little bit stuff like this is a small gun, this is a mast, this is a hull, this is propeller rudder, but you are unable to know about what's uh, inside this ship. What are the facilities? What are the equipments inside this ship? So that's why general management plan plays a very important role. And uh, so I have made uh, this uh, battling vessel uh, through a software known as Creo. So uh, I made the, its uh, 3D as well as its 2D uh, general arrangement plans. So this is uh, the general arrangement plan of a ship. It is indicated by the GA. And uh, so this uh, is the most commonly used general arrangement plan. This is the AutoCAD uh, or 2D version of uh, uh, the general arrangement plan. And uh, this is the best way to determine what are the facilities that the ship is equipped with. This is the deck general arrangement plan. This is the side view general arrangement plan. This is uh, the front view and back view general arrangement plan. So this uh, different plans uh, combined to make general arrangement plan of a ship. So uh, general arrangement plan determines the location, accommodation, access, offices, control room, storage, tanks, machine reads, various equipment the ship is equipped with and what, where these um, uh, facilities are available in a ship. It's like a map. Uh, the, it's like a home map. So it tells where uh, exactly the facilities are available. Uh, so uh, let's move forward. So here is the ship. This is the pink portion hull and this is the superstructure. So I have divided uh, the ship into number of uh, decks. You can see uh, these are the small lines. These are basically decks. So uh, this is number one deck is uh, the, the hull deck. Number two is uh, below the hull deck and number three is again below the hull deck. Uh, this is the tank which is the bottommost portion of uh, the hull and uh, the superstructure decks are denoted by 0, 01, 0, 02, and 0, 03, etc. But here we have two decks present in the superstructure and three decks present in the hull. And tanks are present all along the keel. So I have cut it the ship from the center line, and you can see these are actually the decks present along the ship. These are the tanks. This is the deck zero, deck three, deck two, deck one. Deck 0102. So it make the things easier for you. Cut it the ship from the midship, and uh, so you can see these are the decks present along the ship. This is the tank portion, and these are the decks. So this is uh, the weather deck. Uh, if you look at the ship from the top, then this all portion indicates the weather deck that is exposed to the weather. So in this case, uh, this is the deck one portion of a ship. So this is the 3D general arrangement plan and this is the 2D general arrangement plan obtained through AutoCAD software. So these are the different things here, uh, like uh, these are the ribs, uh, boats, basically these are boats present here. And this is the missile system, torpedo system. And uh, if you talk about this, what's this? It's actually the anchor chain system and these are the winches present uh, in the hull and uh, so these are the accommodations present along the deck one so it's for your general understanding and uh, i have obtained this uh, general arrangement plan for the deck one uh, from uh, the historical ship data so 
this is the deck number two and uh, this is 3d and this is 2d general agent plan so mostly 2d uh, general agent plans are preferred so this is the accommodation portion dining hall galley galley is the area where the food is made and this is dining hall for eating the foodstuffs so this is the gas turbine area and uh, this is these are these are indicating the stairs going downward going downward these are the stairs and uh, these are the ribs present in the deck one as well as in the deck number two so these are the same ribs so move forward So this is the deck number three. It contains the chill water plant, air conditioning system, gyro room, and the diesel gensets, engines. This is uh, the gas turbine region, gearbox region. So these stairs are indicating that whether you can uh, come into this deck or whether you can go above this deck. So this is the tree arrangement. So this is the bottommost portion of the ship and tanks uh, in the ship is the part of keel or bottommost hull. So these are the tanks, oil tanks and uh, so these are the trim tank. These are the trim tanks like this is the trim tank to control the trim in the ship. So trim tanks are also important. So most of the ships contains the oil tank, the blast water tanks, the water tanks here in the keel portion. So this is the superstructure uh, deck and uh, so this is the deck 01. It contains the cabins of different officers and it's uh, like a small uh, deck. So above the deck number 01 is deck 02. So it is also the part of the superstructure contains different accommodations same as almost same as the deck 01. So here is the end of the video. Hope you that you have understand uh, the deck divisions and general management plan of a ship. If you have any query, you can comment below. Thanks for watching.